But Scott Pasco, it's Demetric Felton time. Dive in on Gotta Watch the Tape. Ooh, I have a comparison too. I wonder if we're going to have the same guy. This is going to be, be good if it is. Yeah. Okay. So, right. I, I did want to get to, to Felton because uh, I think it's notable that of the three offensive players the Browns drafted, two of them have skills that you don't really see from other people on the roster right now, right? Anthony Schwartz has the speed that, you know, no one else can match. <clears throat> and then Felton has this versatility as a running back and the ability as a route runner that they don't really have uh, in the backfield right now. So who is Felton? He's began his career at UCLA as a slot receiver, caught 22 passes over his first two seasons uh, with the Bruins. And then he switched to running back due to injuries in the backfield. That's how he explained it uh, when we got to talk to him uh, after the draft. And he did mostly wide receiver drills of the senior bowl. But Kevin Stefanski said, you're running back. And that's what he told us. And that's how Felton was starting with the Browns. But even after switching to running back at UCLA, he continued to be a pass catching weapon. He had 55 catches as a junior, uh, which is a lot. And then he had 22 last season in just six games. So don't be surprised to see him in camp, in motion, into the slot. And by the way, he's about the same size as Jarvis Landry. He's 5'9", 189. That's what he measured at his pro day. Landry's 5'11", 196. So he's kind of in that ballpark of a uh, slot receiver of like cliche slot receiver size, you know, the smaller guy that you see in that spot. Although more varied sizes are, are showing up in the slot nowadays. Even Rashard Higgins got snaps there uh, a couple years ago. So, but as a runner, uh, Felton averaged 5.1 yards per carry last season. 132 carries, 668 yards, seven touchdowns. He's not a between the tackles runner, which I'm sure you, most people would probably assume looking at his size. Only, uh, actually, it was less than half. About 66 of his carries were actually between the tackles. He averaged 4.8 yards per attempt on those. But outside, uh, off tackle or, or to the outside, 5.3 yards per attempt. And also when he's running outside, he caused... 24 missed or broken tackles on those outside plays. He actually gets a lot more uh, broken tackles than you would suspect for a guy his size. Yeah, uh, PFF had a thing before the draft on him, and broken tackles were very big in yeah. that. And I will interject and say, he's a guy who started off as a receiver. He's not that big. In a brief film review, I actually thought he was better between the tackles than I expected him to be. So I know that's not his bread and butter, but I thought he had pretty good vision and found some holes inside, which if you can't do that as a running back, you can't like, they can't hand you the ball because you can't bounce out. You can't bounce wide on every single handoff in the NFL because there's super fast athletic dudes chasing you. And I do think there's an instinct for some certain players at certain levels. It's like, well, I'm faster than guys here. It's like, well, yeah, you're faster than this guy from Arizona state but you're not faster than the guy from the Ravens. So we're, let's run this, Scott. Tell me if I'm overestimating this. He comes out, boom, there's the lane, and into the end zone. That it's not, I mean, you know, I mean, it's not devastating, but it's like real running back play. Comes out a little bit, right? You can see two linemen pulling. Yeah, there's that's, the a, that's lane. a Cleveland Browns play right there. And he hits it. And now this is a really good job of blocking by UCLA, but there's two linebackers. They get the two linebackers block. He hits that second level hole, breaks, gets around the safety with a stiff, stiff arm and gets in the end zone. Scott, that's like running back. That's not gadget guy. That's like if they, if the Browns need to do that in week 11, because Kareem Hunt or Nick Chubb is hurt, that makes me think he could do it for a series. Yeah. I think you can see Nick Chubb uh, on this play. Uh, it's, is you know zone to the left and and the holes there it's really nice hole and there's i mean maybe some questionable uh tackling angles from oregon but you know it's a 10 point game it's it's late in the fourth quarter this is when you have to make plays especially if you're you're down like ucla is and you can see a little bit of burst through the hole there like you know there's there's some opportunities maybe for guys to get him but he moves through there quickly and yeah i mean he's not simply just a guy you're going to throw it to. Yeah. There's a lot of people to consider in that backfield. And uh, that's one of the things obviously we're going to be watching during camp is how is this going to be different? How, you know, how are they going to work these new guys in? How are they going to work Felton in? 
Is Janovich still going to have a significant role? Are we going to see Chubb and Hunt together on the field? Um, I, mean, I liked watching Kareem Hunt block in 2019. I thought that was pretty fun. Uh, and I'm sure he would be up for it because he's all about trying to run through people, whether he has the ball or not. Uh, and if, and if Hunt's on the field and he's willing to block on a consistent basis, then I think that adds a little something to your offense, but then you're, like you said, you're losing, you're, you're losing the, uh, the freshness and Kevin Stefanski would no longer be called the fresh maker. That's going to catch on this year. It's not going to, that's going to good try. Well, you wanted the fresh maker. What did, what was the. Smooth what operator, else? I think, is what well, else. It's not. It neither is happening. It's just Kevin. I'm not even sure Kev would work. So Coach actually, Ski. Actually, I prefer. Uh, I prefer. What's his middle name? Hey, can we call you Kev or Coach Ski? He's like, actually, I prefer Kevin James Stefanski. If you could please refer <laughs> to me as that, 